Today, a narrative that I'm really wanting to change is the narrative that gender-affirming care is dangerous. It actually saves lives. It affirms who people are. It's something that's well-studied and carefully, very carefully informed whenever it's in practice. And I want that to be demystified for folks. The narrative that I want to work on changing is the narrative about how we should find a common ground so that people can work together. We're all going to have differences, especially in the rural communities, but there is a way for us to bring about positive change by understanding others. The narrative I'd like to change is putting children first. We get youth that are underprivileged. They might be seen as bad youth at, you know, at school, whatever it is. I think they're great humans with a lot of potential. I just think our community is not investing in our youth. The narrative I want to change is about leadership. I would like our country to embrace the fact that people of color lead from a we perspective. We lead from a community perspective. We lead based on what's good for, the, for our communities and for the public. And we lead with a generous spirit and a very inclusive spirit. The narrative that I want to change is the narrative that LGBTQ plus young people don't belong in their schools, in their churches, in their communities, and I want to change that narrative to LGBTQIA2 plus young people are a blessing to this world.